Good day and thank you for joining us. So if you can remember in our last lesson we went over area and perimeter of simple shapes. Okay. So in today's lesson what we'll be doing is taking it to the next step and we'll be doing area and perimeter for compound shapes. Okay. So just to give you an idea of what we will be doing. So we in our simple shapes we have our square, we have our rectangle, we have our circle, we have our triangle, okay? But what are compound shapes? Compound shapes are the shapes where basically we have two simple shapes that are combined together, okay? So that's where the compound part comes from. So compound shapes are combined shapes, basically. Say if I was going to take a square and a triangle, I'd form a compound shape that looks something like this, okay? Um, it's not great, I didn't use straight lines, but you can see that here we have a square and we have a triangle. And both these sections would be separated by this um, dashed or dotted line, okay? If we took the rectangle, let's say we took the rectangle like this. Sorry, I can't have that solid line there. If we took the rectangle like this, and we had a, let's say, here's the separation, and we had a half a circle on top. That would also be a compound shape, okay? So when we come across compound shapes, what we need to do is look at those dashed lines and try and distinguish the different types of shapes that are in the compound shape so we are able to figure out the area and the perimeter of the compound shape, okay? So without further ado, let's get into some examples quickly. So we can see our first example. It says, work out the area of the polygon by using the dotted lines to break it down into simpler shapes. So we have our dotted line over here. Using that, we can see that there are two shapes here, right? We can see that there is a rectangle here on the right and a square on the left. Okay? So they want us to find out the area. Just the area, not the perimeter. So we'll just do the area now. So let's look at the information they give us. They say, that this side over here is one centimeter over here, right? So telling us that this is one centimeter. So we can see that we also have these lines that indicate which sides are equal to each other. So we know that all these that are in red right now are also one centimeter in length. So that's one centimeter, one centimeter. So knowing that we know that this shape over here is definitely a square, right? Because all the sides are equal. Of course, if these three sides are one centimeter, the last side's also going to be one centimeter. Looking at here, we have the double dash line, which means that all the double dash line sides are equal in length, which means that this is also two centimeters over there. So let's see if we can try and find the area of the shape, okay? So what we're going to have to do is we've broken it down into two shapes. So when it comes to area, we need to work out the area of both of these shapes. And then once we've done that, we need to add the areas together of both of them. Okay, so if we're doing area of a square, so area is equal to side squared, okay? So this is going to be for the square. So we'll just say over here, it's for the square. Area squared is equal to side squared, I mean. So one side of the square is one centimeter. So we make that squared. So we get a final answer of one centimeter squared because one squared is just equal to one. Then we say, okay, now we're going to look at the rectangle. So we know that the breadth of this rectangle is one centimeter, right? Because remember, it's indicated by this one dash line. The other one dash line sides were one centimeter as well. Now, how do we find the length? If you can see here, we know that up till about this point over here, that this over here is two centimeters, right? And we know that up till about here, from bottom to top, that this is also two centimeters, right? So you can see it's opposite this other side that's over here. And it's still about the same point, right? So how do we know the length of this last section over here? If you look to the other side of here, we look at the square, we can see that the remaining space that's left over, this remaining space over here, is the exact same length and the exact same space as the side over here, so which means this will also be one centimeter over here. So now that we have the lengths that go across here, we know what the total length will be. 
This is 2 plus 1 plus 2, that's going to be 5 centimeters in length. So we know for the rectangle, area is going to be equal to length times breadth. Our length we just found to be 5 centimeters, and we're timesing that by a breadth of 1 centimeter. Okay? Which will then give us an answer of 5 centimeters squared. Remember, it's always squared because we're working out area. Cool. So, moving on from this example. Okay, before I move on, just to note once again, we're using the dashed lines to break it down into simpler shapes, right? So, we broke it down into a rectangle and a square. We work out the area for each one separately. Okay, and we use the information we had to find out the length of this rectangle as well. Moving on. So, we see here we have another polygon. They say work out the perimeter and area of this polygon. So let's do this now. Um, we can look at the information we have. We have a one dash line, one dash line, one dash line again. So we know this is four centimeters which means this must be four centimeters too and this must also be four centimeters. Then if we're looking at let's say the three centimeters over here we have a double dash line and on the other side we have a double dash line as well. So, we're going to say that's 3 centimeters. Now, looking at the dash line that we have over here, or the dotted line, we're breaking this shape up into two shapes. We can see that because this is 4 centimeters, this is 4 centimeters, and this is 4 centimeters, then this side over here will also be 4 centimeters at the top, making this a square. Okay? And we have at the top, which obviously is a triangle, right? So this is going to be a square and a triangle. So we're going to work out perimeter first and we move to area after that. Okay, so looking at perimeter, that's going to be, remember perimeter is the, um, is the length around, okay? Length around the object. It's not going to be on the inside, okay? Because a lot of the times people do get confused and they use this four centimeter line which is on the inside. But the thing is that that is not part of the perimeter, that's inside the shape. Perimeter is on the exterior, okay? So, we're going to add up all the exteriors. So, we're going to say perimeter is equal to... So, it's going to be 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, okay? So, that's literally just adding up all the sides. So, we get 3 plus 3, that's going to give me 6 plus 4, it's 10, 14, 18. That's going to be 18 centimeters. And remember, perimeter just gets left as normal with its units, okay? No squared or anything like that. Now we move over to area. We need to work out the area. Let's say we're going to work out for the triangle first. So we know the base of the triangle is going to be that 4 over there, right? Because we found that this line over here is the 4, which happens to be the base of the triangle as well. We know that's the base because it's perpendicular to the line. It's perpendicular to the height of the triangle. So we're going to do area is equal to half base times height. Once you do that, we say half the base, which is equal to 4, and the height, which we found, which was given to us as 2. So if we just do this basic now, we say 4 times 2 is going to give me 8. 8 times a half is going to give me, so it's going to be 4 as our final answer with centimeters squared. So that's the area of our triangle. Now we're going to do the square. So we say area is equal to side squared. Side is 4. So that's going to be squared, which gives me a final answer of 16. Okay, so the area of this square is 16 centimeters squared. Once we've done that, we find the total area. So we'll say area total is equal to 16 centimeters squared plus 4 centimeters squared. Which is going to give me 20 centimeters squared. Just coming back here, I realized I didn't add up the areas here. That is my bad. So we'll just say quickly area total is going to be equal to 1 centimeter squared plus 5 centimeters squared. 
which gives me a final answer of 6 cm squared. It's my bad, just coming back to that, so we have to add up the areas to get the total area of the polygon. Cool? And as you can see, we've done that over here. Moving on now, it says work out the perimeter and area of the following polygon. Okay, so let's see, we have four centimeters over here and we have our dashed line. So we know this is four centimeters as well. Four centimeters as well over there. As we know, because these three are four centimeters, that this is probably also four centimeters, making this a square. And we can see that on the top of here, we have half a circle. We just separated with that dotted line. So we have half a circle, okay? So it's saying work out the perimeter and area of the polygon. Let's work out the area first in this case. So we'll say, um, let's do the square first, because that's the simpler one. So let's say square, so we say area is equal to side squared. So that's going to be 4 squared, which gives me 16 centimeters squared. Cool. And then we do, now we're going to do the circle, okay? Now, something very important to note about the circle, it is half a circle, okay? So what do we know then that we have to do is we're going to find the area of a whole circle. Then we will divide it by 2 to get the area of half a circle, okay? So what's going to happen is we're going to say, as per normal, area is equal to pi r squared, right? So we'll say, let's see, so we're going to say pi. Now our radius is going to be half our diameter. And remember, diameter stretches across the whole circle. This dotted line over here clearly spans across the whole circle, right? And we know that that's 4 centimeters long, so we need to divide that by 2 to get 2 centimeters. So, that's going to be squared, okay? Once we do that, we find out that 2 squared is going to give us 4. So, our answer is going to be 4 pi centimeters squared. So, to find out the half a circle area, we have to divide by 2. So, that means that our, therefore our area is going to be equal to 2 pi centimeters squared. And that's it for the circle. So now we're going to do the total area. That is going to give us 16 centimeters squared plus 2 pi centimeters squared and this answer will be left like this because remember this answer at the moment is in terms of pi because these aren't because pi is un we can't use pi this answer is technically unknown to us right now so we'll leave it in terms of pi as is right there so now after that let's do the perimeter of this whole shape okay so we're done with area we move on to perimeter so we'll say perimeter of the square. The reason I'm going to show you now why we're breaking it up is because the circle formula is going to throw a bit of a span in the works if we're going to try and just add it all up. So let's actually do the circle first. Remember now, when we're working out circumference of the circle, that's going to give us all the way around the circle. But we only have half a circle, so we're only going to keep, take half of that on. So, okay? so we're going to say circle perimeter or circumference sorry my bad we'll just put as perimeter here so it's going to be 2 pi r so what we're going to have is 2 pi remember radius we found to be 2 so now we have 4 pi as our perimeter okay so now we need to divide that by 2 therefore perimeter is equal to 2 pi right now we do it for the square Actually, we don't need to do it for the square, my bad. We have figured out this distance over here, right? We figured out this distance right over here. So now that we've figured that out, we just need to add these last three sides, right? So we'll say area total, I mean perimeter total. 
that is going to be equal to 2, pl 2 pi plus 4 plus 4 plus another 4 okay so our final answer is going to be 2 pi plus 4 8 12 let me just put in my measurements here quickly. We know that these are centimeters over here. So this is going to be centimeters and centimeters. So that would be the end of this example. So whenever we're working with a circle, we need to remember to leave the things in terms of pi, okay? The reason we leave it in terms of pi is because we don't know what the value of pi is here. We haven't worked it out. So that's why we need to leave it in terms of pi, okay? So very important note to take from this is we're breaking down compound shapes with the dotted lines. We go back to one of our other examples. We broke up this into square and triangle, right? And if we go back to the other one, sorry, we broke this down into a rectangle and square. So that's going to be a first step and then you're going to work out area separately and you're going to add the areas together but when it comes to perimeter we're only taking the exterior of the shape not the internal lines at all okay so that is going to do it for today's lesson thank you very much for joining us